Hello, greetings of the day to every student here. Uh, my name is Kunal Sahitya and I am from Computer Engineering Department of GMIT College. And here we are going to be dealing with the subject code Programming for Problem Solving. So the subject code is 311003, right? And before going into the subject matter, if I talk about myself, uh, I've done my master's from Access Engineering College, bachelor's from BVM Engineering College, and my areas of interest are IoT, cryptography, and specifically in cryptography, I like uh, Bitcoin blockchain, and then I'm good at Python programming, and I prefer uh, backend and server programming rather than front end. So this was about me, and uh, basically in this course, uh, we'll be communicating in both languages, Hindi and English, for a while because there are so many students from different backgrounds and they might feel that they are not very comfortable in English. So I'll be switching between Hindi and English, right? So as we talked in class, we talked about know your university stuff, as we all know. So as I say, subject code for the programming for problem solving subject is 311003. It is important to remember subject code of every subject and know its evaluation scheme that will be seen in the next slides and uh, because it will help you to search the content if you know the subject code it will be very easier to search the content in the next previous papers its syllabus and it's related i mean uh, and notifications on the gpu websites right so gpu is our university as we all know and it is offering this subject so i will be talking some basic things uh, in your first slides or to few lectures because I think there are many students who don't know this, who don't know this, right? So it is important to know some stuff which is basic. So if you already know it, um, I suggest that you ignore it. And but if you don't know it, you just make a note of it. It is your first year, and it is very important to know some things that will be helping you throughout the year. Okay, so this is uh, programming for problem solving subject and uh, its evaluation scheme. So how I would how are you going to be dealing with this subject throughout the year? Okay, throughout the semester. So many students are there who don't know what the evaluation scheme is. They are in third and fourth year, but they does not they don't know that what are the lectures, what are the practical credits, and what are the subject credits, how the evaluation works. They doesn't know that. Uh, they don't know that they have total 150 marks for evaluation. So this is evaluation scheme. So as you can see, that teaching scheme includes Three lectures, I'll stand for lecture, two lectures per week. Uh, there's no tutorials, and there are two practicals. There are two practical sessions every week. So, this is how uh, we'll be dealing with the subject. Every uh, week, we are going to be meeting, meeting for five times. Right? And subject has four credits. What is credit? Credit is a subject, uh, credit is a thing given to a particular subject that shows its importance. So, if I say a subject has eight credits, and if you score, let's say, 50 marks in that subject, and a subject has four credits, and let's say, if you score 100 marks out of 150 in that subject, so uh, that will be that will make a huge difference in your SPI CPI. So, कहने का मतलब ये है, आपको ध्यान रखना है कि जिस भी सब्जेक्ट का वेटेज और पेंट ज़्यादा है, उसको सीरियसली लेना है। ऐसा नहीं बोल रहा हूँ कि जिसका कम है, उसको सीरियसली नहीं लेना है, उसको बिल्कुल ही uh, defining moment for a CPI and SPI. Yeah, I believe CPI and SPI is more, uh, is very less important than the practical knowledge, but yeah, we have to cope up with the theory part as well, right? So, there are two examination schemes, uh, total 150 marks, total 150 marks, and so both are divided by the other hand, theory marks and practical marks. So, first is unsemester examination of 70 marks, that is conducted by DPU. We will be uh, giving GPU examination of 70 marks. Practical assessment or partial assessment of the general assessment of theory will be of 30 marks that will be conducted at institute level. And then we have practical marks and that is end semester examination or higher. That will be of 30 marks and 20 marks for practical assignments or uh, the assignments given to you throughout the semester. So this is how your 50 marks are divided and your uh, SPI will be decided based on total marks to score out of 150 and the total credit of the subject as we discussed earlier. Right? So this is the evaluation scheme uh, and this is an introductory video. I feel that we should first talk about what we will be doing throughout the semester and how the subject will be evaluated. So you already saw the evaluation scheme, how the subject will be evaluated, right? Now switch to the 
PPS um, subject course. Right? So this is the first year subject. Uh, try to go through this uh, in a very calm manner. Right? So these are the topics we'll be seeing in the scheme of the subject. So first chapter is uh, first chapter is introduction to computer and program. So let's quickly go through this uh, subject course and see how it will work for us, right? So as I said earlier um, in our meetings that we had for this course, I had also I had already told you that uh, this is a subject to learn programming, not only to learn C programming but learn how to do the programming, right? They could have introduced any subject like Python, Java. Uh, go for the subject name. Subject name is Programming for Problem Solving. So, if you see, Programming for Problem Solving. So, you have to learn how to solve some computer programming problem. It is not basically just associated with C. Earlier, the, the subject name was C programming in very early years of the day. But they have even changed it to Programming for Problem Solving because it which is you computational think how to think uh, to solve computational problems right so introduction to computer and program so during first year we are uh, first semester or first chapter of the semester we are going to learn introduction to computer and programming so we'll be seeing what how computer evolved what is the history of the computer basic block diagram what are the components of the computer right and functions of various components of the computer Concept of hardware and software, they seem like very childish things to some students, but yeah, we have to learn from basics, and basics are very important. The foundation should be strong, right? There are types of software, different types of software, and application software, and the very software, operating uh, system software, and we will be seeing that. Compiler interpreters, there are two, they, they both are the I mean, <coughs> some internal part of the computer software, but we will see what, we will see what it is. Concept of machine level language, assembly level language, high level language, what are these things? I have talked about these things uh, briefly in a previous meetings of this course, but we'll be seeing that in detail. And flow charts and algorithms. Flow charts and algorithms are very uh, basic and important part of our discussion. So it is important that you learn those two things very nicely because uh, anything is which is done practically or solved practically is first solve theoretically so let's say if i want to build a building if i want to make a machine if i want to build a car i have to have a sketch of that car theoretically i have to have a design on my page i have to have something subtle that is theoretically solved to start building it practically similarly if you want to solve if you want to develop your software you have to have a flowchart or algorithm algorithmically solve that problem already on paper or in a computer so basically I suggest that uh, I'm not saying that most of the complex programs just have algorithms and flowchart. They have so many other diagrams that should be done before jumping into the practical thing or solving or programming it. So similar way algorithms and flowcharts help you to solve the problem on paper. Then we have fundamentals of C. So after first chapter we will directly jump right into the C programming. What are the features of C, structure of C program and very very basic things. Okay. And then we have control structure and C. And after that, there will be C programming things like uh, what are the control structure, if else statement, looping, nesting, input output functions will be in the second chapter, array and string. Uh, till third chapter, we'll be dealing with very few uh, elements like four or five elements every program. There won't be more than four or five elements in one program. Uh, but after that, we will be learning array and string. Array is a medium to store more than four or five elements. So uh, in a structural way, things in a structural way. Uh, this might seem very vague right now, or that you are not understanding what I see. Of course, I guess I'll agree that these are things that are not clear to me. Are they? Are they more technical? Are they? But hang on, then. Okay, hang on. Then. Give it to me for a while, and we'll be learning it. Okay. Then we'll have we will be having functions. We will be defining our functions to find, let's say, prime number if the number is uh, odd or even. So very simple program, okay, and some complex programs after that because the functions, macros, and processing. If you know C language, you will know what these things are. Uh, these things are, but if you don't know C language, don't worry about it. You will be learning that in very detail and very nicely. But as I said, 
focus very much on this semester in this language particularly because after that it will help you to learn every language that you learn every language that you take very easily if you have done this semester very nicely in future uh, you will not face much problem to learn new languages you can even learn that in one week or eight week maybe you will learn language six of them computer may fundamentals strong होना बहुत जरूरी है अगर आप इस सेमेस्टर में अपने फंडामेंटल्स हैं जो एरे हैं स्ट्रिंग्स हैं डेटा टाइप्स हैं कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर्स हैं ये सारी चीजें क्लियर कर लेंगे इफ एक्स वाई ये सारी चीजें क्लियर कर लेंगे तो मोस्ट ऑफ द प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस में सीखने के लिए बहुत कम चीजें होती हैं जो न्यू होती हैं सो आपको जितनी भी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस सीखनी है आप सीख पाएंगे बहुत क्विकली सीख पाएंगे अगर आपका फोकस है फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर में अगर आपके फंडामेंटल्स स्ट्रांग हैं राइट सो देन वी विल लर्निंग रिकर्जन्स एंड पॉइंटर्स पॉइंटर्स इज अ मेमोरी रिलेटेड थिंग so if you want to um, store some variables store some values in the memory you will be using pointers pointers is very important part of this uh, semester so if you want to be good at c programming you have to learn pointers very nicely okay then you will be having structure structure is a very nice way to learn or create new objects in c object oriented programming is not allowed in c it is a basically a process uh, procedure oriented program what is object oriented what is procedure oriented is there in the post of language we'll be learning that but structure is a very nice way to create an object in C and then dynamic memory allocation and time allocation dynamic memory allocation is similar or advanced version of pointers you create uh, dynamic memories uh, in computer and you allocate a variable for value to it and then time management Obviously, uh, you want to deal with things that are closer to real world. आप real world के जैसे ही तो इसके साथ deal करना चाहते हैं, काम करना चाहते हैं. Let's say आपके पास कोई file है, तो आपको उस file में से कोई important data निकालना है, कुछ calculations करने हैं, और आप उसको file में रखते हैं. तो obviously आपको file management आना चाहिए. आपके पास Excel file है, CSV file है, उसके साथ आपको C programming deal करनी है, तो आप कर सकते हैं. Obviously, आप उसी में कुछ program लिख करते हैं, तो आपकी Excel या CSV file के साथ deal कर रहा होगा, और उसके साथ computation करते होंगे. आपका जो रिजल्ट है वो तो वापस रखना होगा सो ऐसा कुछ आप इम्पोर्टेंट या फैटल बनाना चाहते हैं तो आपको फाइल मैनेजमेंट सीखना पड़ेगा राइट सो दिस वाज इट एंड देन वी हैव रेफरेंस बुक्स हियर आई सजेस्ट दैट इंस्टीट्यूशन विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग यू द रेफरेंस बुक दैट इज प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग बाय एफ दिस आइडिया राइट सो यू विल बी हैविंग दैट बुक एंड यू विल बी फॉलोइंग दैट बुक बट आई सजेस्ट दैट प्रोग्रामिंग में डाला खुल फॉर मी Programming in C C is very nice book and also let us see variation colors and we have it here fifth number it is also very good book for C C and C programming these are reference books so they are available in your library you can go and check it out and if you want to read it you can issue it from your library just uh, follow the rules for the that is uh, in your library so yeah. Then we will be having practicals. This is for practicals. So I guess sixty practicals in one year. Yeah, but you don't have to be afraid that there are sixty practicals. They are very easy. They are they can be done. Let's say ten to twelve practicals. First ten to twelve practicals can be done if we have just uh, made a simple tutorial. Okay, right. So you just have to be regular. Uh, you have just to cope up with things that we are doing. Uh, practice it regularly. फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर थोड़ा हेक्टिक हो जाए तो हेक्टिक को नहीं दीजिए बट बिकॉज इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एज आई से यून सी प्रोग्रामिंग राइट सो या जस्ट टॉक अबाउट द कोर्स कुछ इज थ्रू दिस कोर्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी पोस्टेड इट इन अवर गूगल क्लास रूम राइट सो गो थ्रू दैट कोर्स इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन इफ यू हैव एनीथिंग दैट वी शुड बी फॉलोइंग एन सजेशन यू वी शुड बी पोस्टिंग दैट इन अवर गूगल क्लास रूम राइट इस लेक्चर की भी एक पोस्ट होगी आपको लेक्चर के बारे में कोई भी डाउट है तो आप प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन को क्लियर करवा सकते हैं क्योंकि आप प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन के लिए पहले जा रहे हैं राइट सो आप प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन में वो चीजें क्लियर कर सकते हैं जस्ट सो आप प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन को वो चीजें क्लियर कर सकते हैं राइट जो भी आपके डाउट होंगे एंड एंड दैट्स इट हमने रेडिएशन दे दिया है हमने वहाँ पोस्ट कंटेंट दे दिया है ऑलरेडी इंट्रोडक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन बात कर दी है राइट सो प्लीज फॉलो दैट एंड वी विल बी सीइंग व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट सब्जेक्ट कंटेंट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच